Okay, going to set up my Xbox One to watch live digital television over the air broadcast. To do that, I needed this, a POG digital TV tuner for Xbox One. comes with just three pieces, you'll see. First piece it comes with is the actual digital tuner. It has two connections, coax for your antenna. USB connects to the Xbox One. This does not support cable TV, so that is the uh, USB extension cable. You use that to connect to the Xbox One. It's very particular. The instructions say to use it. I don't know why it matters, but I did, and it worked. So use it. And it comes with a digital um, digital antenna if you don't already have one. Again, broadcast channels like CBS, ABC, NBC, all free over the air. No cable here. So this is kind of how it would look, how it's going to connect. So let's set it up. First thing I'm going to do is take my digital tuner and connect the antenna that came with it. All right, done. Next step is to connect it to the Xbox One. I will use the USB extension because the instructions make it clear to use it. I don't know if it really matters, but I don't care. I used it. It works. And besides, I didn't want my tuner sticking in the back, hitting the wall. So it does provide some space, uh, you know, in, in how you place the tuner around your Xbox because it's not really very convenient, I guess. Next thing, once you plug it in, you should see some lights. They may go off or on, but once you do the tuning for the channels, you should see them on. That's how you know it's actually working. So I fired up the Xbox. Okay, the Xbox is now uh, running, and the instructions say that it should recognize the tuner and display and prompt you on where to go, but that didn't happen for me. Uh, nothing ever came up. So I'm just here at the uh, main page, and um, you need to navigate where the setup is. So I'll walk you through that. So just uh, pr uh, navigate to the left, and you want to go into settings, all settings. And it just takes a little bit, but once you get in here, you're going to navigate down to TV and One Guide. Then over to device control. And once you go in here, now you will see the option to set up the TV tuner. It's not set, so I'm just going to manually go in there and set it. And you just navigate through here, put in your zip code. It's going to download a guide and scanning. It'll start to scan channels. It takes a little while. I've sped this video up so we can see a whole boatload of over the air channels are coming through. At this time, you would also see your um, TV tuner's lights should be on. That's how you know, you know it's really working and it's getting stuff. Um, it's get, asked you a bunch of questions. You know, want to pause live TV? I said yes. Um, you, you know, do you want to say Xbox on? I don't have a Connect. I don't have this device. You know, this other. Uh, so I said no. Um, yeah. Do you want to? Uh, no, I don't want them to know what I'm thinking. And basically, here's how you pick your starting. So I, I, I have left it on start, go to home, not directly TV. Uh, one guy, just just hit next through all this junk, um, unless you you know you know what it is. It doesn't really matter. Um, so, anyways, when you come back in, you can maneuver at the very top. You see, you go home, community, one guide, and you move down and live TV, and you should see uh, television. And you can see in this case, I think it's just a commercial that pops up here. Wheel of Fortune, you see down there, and you use the directional button to just move up and down. I'll post another video of how to maneuver around and all and how to snap here, in and all that good stuff. But this will get you going on setting up your TV. Thanks.